Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how I made $26,000 last week trading the SPY options put on the SPY with an 87% chance of success on our indicators. Now, remember this video is for illustration purposes, education purposes. It is my account. It's not a promise of what you do. It's for you guys to learn some mistakes that I've learned over the years that can help you. This video also shows you that I should and could have made $60,000 in that trading day because the options went from 80 cents, everyone, to six bucks, seven times the money. But instead, I decided to layer safely, go from the zero DTE to the seven days, 14 days, 21 days. Let's go deep. Hopefully, you learn a lot of good stuff. This is stuff that took me years and years and years to master, and hopefully, they'll help you. Let's go. Let's go deep now. Put right there, you can see on the left, went from about 70 cents, 90 cents, all the way to seven bucks. That was seven times your money. I had about $10,000 on it. This could have been $70,000 profit right there. Instead of keeping this one all the way all day, right? I switched to safer once that expires in January, right? Just to be on the safe side. So it was a good day, but I made some mistakes where I could have been like a crazy killing days. So, so first off, let's look at what was the logic of taking the short. Well, you can see this is an SPY chart. This is the head double top. This is the shoulder. This is the shoulder that we have between 2001, 21 and 22, right? And now we have our tools, our power indicator, probability power indicator that are designed with a patent and a utility and copywriting and et cetera, and et cetera. So here it is a visual tool to help you right away make decisions that have a whole verse 66% chance of success. I was looking for a short. I was looking for a short at the edge of the probability power box rule of third, which by the way is absolutely free for trading view. Look at the description below. We offer it absolutely free. Check below on the description on your YouTube. And I'll tell you, it will tremendously help you for your position trading and your long-term investment. It works with daily time frame and on, on the premium package. It works on every time frame, five minutes, 10 minutes, and there's a return on investment. Now, when you overlay that with the premium real-time calculator, we had an 81% still as of today for a short to happen in the market. So when we open to the edge, look, if I put a replay here and I go to the top of the bar towards the top, we had an 87.9% chance of success of a short. So 87.9% chance of a short, plus the power trend box, which is net buyer, net seller, institutional volume, add institutional major retail volume down, minor volume down, and institutional up with an overall careful arrow that tells you we shift from going up to neutral. Usually this is the time where you look for a rejection. So I knew at this edge, also with the red institutional zones here at 456, that that 456 to that 465, this is where it's going to happen. But at the same time, I'm looking at the net sellers here on the power trend box. Net seller, net seller. So when that shifted, I started taking the options last week on the 453 put, and I'll show you. And so you can see here, if I do a sell and I do the replay, boom, the rest is history, boom. See, boom, it went all the way from 450. 6458, right? All the way to this uh, 440, 445 today, right? Tuesday. So this is how I have been pinpointing the short, starting the short since last Friday. Now, I want to show you some mistakes I've done in the 26K on the layering. Some of you can say it's a mistake. Some of you will see it as a safe play. We need to debate, is it a safe play or is it a Mistake. So let's look at the screenshot that I took after I did the video, the quick video on Friday. That was August the 4th. That was $26,000 in one of the account, right? And this is the small account right there. Okay, total, I don't see if you can see at the bottom, 26, seven something, okay? So 
I want to show you the mistake. And is it really a mistake when you overlay? So this is the put that I took. I show you the premise why I took the put. I had an 87% chance of success rate on the power indicators. I had every indicator lined up for a high probability trade, okay? So now I went and I started buying this thing around 90 cents here. And I started loading 100 contracts. Well, in all actuality, if I had kept from the bottom of where I bought to the top here around the six bucks, I would have made $60,000 in profit just with the way I had the contract set up. But instead, what I've done, because it's zero DTE and it's very dangerous, when they open at 9.30, guys, at 4 p.m., the clock is ticking on those options where the uh, interesting, the time value is going to go to zero, right? And a lot of options of those options expire worthless. So I had to make a decision. Do I keep this? And I'm patient and I'm patient. And to my defense, it doesn't really show a lot of the pullback here because it went to two, then went back to one something, then explode, went back, pull back, etc. But overall, if I had done this, I would have made 60,000. Instead, I made 26. And the reason being is because I overlay into the seven days, 21 days. So here's what happened. We have an option that goes, that is zero day to expiration, right? And opens at 9.30, expires at 4 p.m. Extremely dangerous. 90% of the trader lose money. And I can tell you that 99% of the trader who hold options till expiration at four o'clock can lose money because a lot of those options expires out of the money, right? So they are very, very dangerous as the clock is tick, 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 right? So I bought them at 90 cents. It was to, it went to $6. I had 100 contract. In theory, if I was the best trader in the world, it would have been 60K. But you know what, guys? I've done this for many, many years, you know, 28 years. And this is all I've done trading since I was 21, 22 years old. I'm 52. And I go for safety. I like to bring small accounts up. In this case, there was a small account of $36,000 that I brought up. I finished the day, right, at 62 k So that's pretty cool, right? I love doing this. It's bringing small accounts up bringing them up, take the money. My initial capital was about uh, 30K, right? And then start again and start again and start again because I like diversification of portfolio where 90% of my cash is in real estate. So real estate, stocks, right? Companies, I'm an entrepreneur, right? And then 10% of my asset, I break down 5% in crypto, let's say, and 5% in day trading and position trading there, right? So from the get-go, I segregate the assets such that if there's a black swan, I am always diversified properly, right? But what I was doing this day is I took the profit. I started making really good money on the move. I think it went from $0.90 cents to $2, $2.40 at one point. And I started layering like a bond. Some people layer bonds, you know, when you do a CD, six month CD, three month CD, 12 month CD, right? You layer because then you get a little higher rate on this one and a little higher rate and you get your money back and you can rinse and repeat. That's called the velocity of money. So what I did is I started layering, even though the tools were saying we were going to continuing them, I started buying seven days 14 days options and 21 days options. And when you do that, unfortunately, well, here's what happened. Those options are more expensive. You have less contract, which for me, it's more safety. Let's say you go from 100 contract here to let's say 30 here, 20 here and 10 here. So now you go from 100 contract to 60 contracts with more duration. So it's safer. You have, the time is on your side. 
or at least it's more on your side. And also I went deeper in the money. So those were 453s here, puts, but then I moved here very, very deep. I did 455s, 460s, 455, 460s. So because more money, less contract. And what you're doing like this is you're trading the, the potential of the $60,000, which by the way, remember, it's a very low probability that it's going to work. It's very rare that a trader can go from the bottom to the top, which I've done and I, I wish I had done in that case because I have the experience. But instead I chose the safety and by law, layering the safety, I made 26K. Now I'm going to tell you all of this is kind of psychology because look, let's say raise everything. If you go back to my screenshot, you'll notice if you look and you pay attention very carefully, that at the end of the day did not matter because look, I just went over the weekend with only 367 Delta negative. So all I've done is traded higher duration, deeper in the money for safety, but that was not even to keep them over the weekend because I kept only 367 Delta short over the weekend, which I think I kept the January 2024, you know, over the weekend. It's just that I did it for safety, right? But if I had gone over the weekend, now it's Tuesday, we just made a new low this morning at 3.44, 3.45. It would have been better to have the 14 days and the 21 days and the January 24. So the point in the matter is never go over the weekend on options that are seven days or less. This, this is not going to help you. So hopefully this video was helpful to everybody, you know, in between the tools, in between uh, 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 the probability power indicator, my experience and overlaying properly, I was able to make that, but it, it was not the best ROI. I could have made and should have made a lot more money, you know, because I do have the experience. But with age <laughs> comes safety. And I prefer safety, especially when I grow a small account, because now I have $62,000, which are, by the way, to $5,000, which I sent into my personal bank account. And as I grow the account, I grow the account and I pay myself and I withdraw some money for other investments, right? I slowly but surely. Uh, grow the account at this point and I don't be a cowboy because 100 contract on the SPY is a lot guys it can go like this you know if it goes a point against you you lose ten thousand dollars guys and I add to my winners which gives me a good cost basis and a safer entry so hopefully this is helpful guys this stuff takes years and years and years you know of refinement to be good at them but I'll tell you something trading the SPY and be really good at trading the SPY and overlaying directional SPY. I prefer puts and always on the downside for a lot of reasons. We watched some of videos on our YouTube channel, Day Trading Zones, that explain why I like puts better than calls because the volatility and the VIX is on my side when the market tank, fear goes up, volatility goes up, it holds the options, right? But I'm telling you, if over the years you're able to do asymmetrical bait, be good at one contract, be good at two contracts, three contracts, I'm telling you guys, this is the way to grow small accounts to big accounts with small amounts of money. I call that asymmetrical bet. Same in cryptos. If I buy a matic at 50 cents, 40 cents, and it goes to $1.23 and I can hold it forever, it's an asset that is asymmetrical. So I love those asymmetrical bet only if if you play small size, you grow small accounts because taking big accounts and blowing everything is not fun. You know, segregate the accounts. Think about segregating the accounts the way I do it for my own account with my own family. 90% in long-term investing, asset, companies, real estate. 10% I grow and divide between day trading, swing trading, right, and cryptos. Take care, everybody. Hopefully that video was helpful. And don't forget, if you want the free uh, probability 
power box roller field, the one that has the blue, gray, and purple band, you can download it below. And if it's helpful, we would appreciate your likes, comments, and uh, reviews. Take care, everybody, and have a great week. Stay